Happy God of War release everyone and congratulations to all the developers that work on this awesome new version. We have converted our prototype project, MacBlocks, that you can play with the link in the description, from God of 3 to God of 4. And in doing so, we have encountered a few breaking changes that we will describe in this video so that you can port your projects faster. The first breaking change is that setters are always called even when the property is set from the script. So for example, uh, in this case, before in Godot 3, this would not call the setter and this would, but in Godot 4, both will call the setter function. If you still want the old behavior, you can set an internal value such as this uh, that you will set in the setter. Uh, so this will not call the setter and this will call the setter. A big breaking change is the new behavior of collision layers and mask. So before to register a collision between two uh, shapes, uh, rigid bodies or areas, it was um, symmetrical. You had to have one of the two shapes that was on a layer observed by the other uh, shapes mask and then both shapes would register a collision. But now it's um, kind of asymmetrical. Both shapes will be independently registering the collision. This can lead to very weird behavior, for example, for rigid bodies. Here, if I remove the mask for shapes in the character, then the character will be able to apply forces to the shape, but not the other way around. So you have very weird physics that look kind of buggy. So I suggest verifying all your collision layers and masks. A huge change in God of War is the new tile maps. So you will have to change all your tile sets to be compatible. It also comes with a whole new vocabulary, such as terrains or layers. And I want to explain something that I have found hard to grasp at first, it's the difference between terrains and terrain sets. Terrains are autotiles. For example, here I have my white terrain that is autotiling when I paint with it so that I don't have a white border between two neighbors, white tile. And what surprised me at first is that if I paint with the gray tile, which is not in the same terrain set, it doesn't autotile the neighboring white tiles. The white border does not show. This is confusing because if I do it in the other order, the gray tile before the white tiles, you can see that it auto tiles correctly. The rule is that when updating a tile with a new terrain, it will only update the neighboring tiles if they are in the same terrain set. So if I change my gray tile so that it's in the same terrain set as the white tiles, you can see that it auto tiles correctly. There are plenty of other small breaking changes, such as this one. In a particle shader, uh, you have to rename the vertex uh, function into process. Or the height property in capsules, uh, before height defined this uh, length, and now it defines the whole height of the capsules, which is better, obviously, but it breaks compatibility. God of 4 is awesome. But the thought of an unknown change breaking your game is terrifying. The decision to port or not to port is a hard one to make. We have decided to keep our main project a good day in God of 3 for now. It's an online multiplayer party game, so if that seems fun to you, you can check it out on Steam with the link in the description. We can't wait to use God of 4 again.